Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is my shiny new level 2 GPO2 MLRS on the ground. And I am really enjoying using this thing. It is I would when I saw how the missiles worked, I didn't think I would be any good at it at all trying to get that arc down, and I'm still not great with it, but I'm better on the ground obviously than I was on in the air. So it fires, it can fire two volleys of three before it has to reload. And yeah, as you can see, downed enemies, if, you, if you've if you got a line, they're great for that. That is a Mark II approaching me, which is not advisable uh, to approach one of these alone, because it can do really strong damage to a general at, at close quarters. And also, many thanks to my team, who just moved right in to defend me, and that is appreciated. Let me see if I can now help them. See, trying just going for uh, Vulcans because I could not really get a clean line on them to uh, fire the uh, short range missiles or the linear missiles, let's say. And fired my long range missiles, which is, that is not going to hit. That person's going to be dead before I could get those off, so use uh, use the straight ones. Yeah, so it is it is a wonderful piece of artillery. I'm not sure if I'm going to tag that Zeta. Yes, I am probably get the assist, but I don't think I'm going to get close enough to get the kill. As it is, that's, I'm not, I got no complaints about this round and anybody else taking kills, because it's mixed up. So let's just get the enemy t uh, team's gauge depleted. That's not to say I'm not just chasing it down, because I would love to get uh, the points, but I'm caught in an airstrike, I think, so, or I might have been hit by one at any rate, so need to just, ah, there's that Dom Barrage. Again, I've seen a lot of those lately. It's a fun mobile suit. Uh, it's good to see it back in circulation. And got Mark II'd a little bit. I will probably survive this, especially since he missed his uh, follow-up because of the uneven pavement. That happens a lot. I did not miss my follow-up, and yes, it still has the GPO2's nasty downswing, and that is nice, because that, that really does help at short range. I believe it doesn't have quite as much of a boost range as the uh, Beam Bazooka version, but it still has the two hits, and as a support, if you hit a general with that, it's going to hurt. So now we try and get this shot off. I don't think it's going to work. Naturally, the arcing missiles, because of the damage they do, have a long reload time, but that just means I move up and uh, use the rockets, the uh, straightforward rockets, and the Vulcans, and Saber. Yeah, so it is It is a great support. I am really enjoying using it. Stunned that person. And as you can see, the, the ready-up time between the uh, two round, you know, the two uh, round bursts of the rocket really don't take that long to ready. That is, that is also very nice. This, yeah, I am, like I said, I wasn't sure I'd like this thing uh, when I first saw it, but, I, oh man, look at that splash damage. But yeah, I'm pretty enamored of it now, which is why you're seeing it two weekends in a row. And got a couple of shots off to no effect. But yeah, we've got a good lead, and yeah, this is just, this is fun. I like this. And on top of everything else, it has the GPO2's massive shield, so it's, yeah, it is great. And best of luck to everyone who tried to get it in the uh, special, uh, in the special uh, lottery they had this last week. Because, man, that's how I finally got my Mark II, and, yeah, I'm happy to have that. That's that's a fun one, too. Like I said, my gotcha luck has been frighteningly good lately, given that, you know, my gotcha luck tends to correspond to bad real-world luck. So, yeah, that's kind of a uh, thing in the middle of what we're euphemistically calling the Backstreet Boys reunion tour, apparently, to uh, because YouTube does not like you talking about it. So, yeah. And... Let's see, that volley's not going to hit. Don't think it stunned our, my allies either, so I can just move up and try and get some shots in. Let's see, not going to have time to shoot, so just hanging back. Again, just having a good knowledge of when iframes happen is just so much of this game. Just knowing, knowing when it's going to be futile to actually uh, fire is a thing. Got it with the uh, uh, side swing, and that is the end of the round, so... Not bad. Yeah, I like this thing. It's a fun thing. I I, I enjoy it, and I, like I said, if you if you want it, I hope you get it because it's good. 
I expect it'll show up in tickets soon. But yeah, 6378 for my individual and combat score, because uh, individual score minus cost of your deaths is combat score. I didn't die, so 6378. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! It's funny to me, though, that the hardest thing I had, the hardest time I had of getting anything was the Barzam out of all the Zeta suits I tried to get. The Mark II was tough, yes, but in the end, on that special lottery, I had about a 1 in 10 chance, I think, of getting it. Maybe even slightly better. The Barzam just gave me a lot of grief, uh, and it's a 2-star. The 3-stars I've just lucked uh, all into, and the Barzam was harder. It was so weird. <laughs>